Good day, everyone. Welcome to my virtual class. The topic that I am going to discuss is about global citizenship. So what do we mean by global citizenship? Global citizenship is about shared values and shared responsibility. Diversity, interdependence, empathy, and perspective are essential values of global citizenship. Global citizens harness these values and are uniquely positioned to contribute in multiple contexts, locally, nationally, and internationally, without harming one community to benefit another. They foster and promote international understanding. So let us define global citizenship. It is a way of living that recognizes our world is an increasingly complex web of connections and interdependence. It is the moral and ethical disposition that can guide the individual understandings or the context of local and global groups, and it reminds them of their responsibilities within different communities. So, let's try to discuss what a citizenship is. It is associated with rights and obligations like, let's say for example, the right to vote and the obligation to pay taxes. Both rights and obligations link the individual to state. It has something to do with the behavior or attitude. We need to be willing to engage and to give our effort to the community because we are part of it. Community is regarded as local. But the question then is, how can the idea of citizenship be linked or transferred to global level? Now, global citizenship is not the same as globalization. Because globalization is the process by which organizations develop international influence or operated on an international scale. This is driven by economics, business, and money. So that is globalization. It is about the flow of products, capital, people, and also information. But global citizenship, on the other hand, is driven by identity and values. Global citizens build bridges, mitigate risk, and safeguard humanity. So global citizenship helps bridge the gaps and rectify realities, and global citizens are its ambassadors. Doing this is not only about mindset. It is about action, lifestyle, and building connections over time. Now let us have the global citizenship responsibility. A global citizen living in an emerging world community has moral, ethical, political, and economic responsibilities. These responsibilities include 1. Responsibility to understand one's own perspective and the perspective of others on global issues. It only means that we should have understanding on the cultural, social, political differences, and even economic perspective. As global citizen, we should be a problem solver and should build common ground solutions. We should, we should avoid taking sides with one particular point of view and instead Find ways to bring all sides together to avoid chaos and misunderstanding. Number two is responsibility to respect the principle of cultural diversity. So respect is very much important responsibility of a global citizen. We have different cultural traditions, so we also have to respect cultural differences. We have to make an effort to understand one another to avoid global issues for us to have a better community to live in. Number three is responsibility to make connections and build relationships with people from other countries and culture. So we are now living in the internet world and it is very easy to know others' traditions and cultures even without traveling to their countries. It is very easy to build networks to other foreign countries 
you will also be able to know their values and beliefs with just one click. With this, we are not isolating ourselves from the development and progress. Number four is responsibility to understand the ways in which peoples and countries of the world are interconnected and interdependent. Global citizens have the responsibility to understand the many ways in which their lives are interconnected with people and countries in different parts of the world. They need, for example, to understand the way in which the global environment affects them where they live and how the environmental lifestyles they choose affect the environment in other parts of the world. They need to understand the ways in which human rights violations in foreign countries affect their own human rights, how growing income inequalities across the world affect the qualities of their lives, how the global tide of immigration affects what goes on in their countries. Number five is responsibility to understand global issues. So global citizens have the responsibility to understand the global issues that affect their lives. For example, they need to understand the impact of the scarcity of resources on societies. The challenges presented by the current distribution of wealth and power in the world, the roots of conflicts and dimensions of peace building, the challenges posed by a growing global population. Number six is responsibility to advocate for greater international cooperation with other nations. So it is cooperating with other countries in the world. For example, when a global issue arises, it is important for global citizens to provide advice on how their countries can work with other nations to address their issue how it can work with established international organizations like UN or United Nations rather than proceed on unilateral course of action. So for number seven, responsibility for advocating for the implementation of international agreements, conventions, treaties related to global issues. So for this one, global citizens have the responsibility to advocate for having their countries ratify and implement the global agreements, conventions, and treaties that they have signed. Number eight, responsibility for advocating for more effective global equity and justice in each of the value domains of the world community. So there are a growing number of cross-sector issues that require the implementation of global standards of justice and equity. For example, the global rise in military spending, the unequal access by different countries to technology, the lack of consistent national policies on immigration. Global citizens have the responsibility to work with one another and advocate for global equality and justice solutions to these issues. So this article is taken from the uh, book of Ron Israel. Let us now proceed to the characteristics of global citizen. So a global citizen is someone who is aware of the wider world and has a sense of their own role as a world citizen. He is also someone who respects and values diversity. So what do you mean by diversity? It means understanding that each individual is unique and recognizing individual differences. For example, understanding and appreciating interdependence of humanity, culture, and natural environment. So another thing is a global citizen is someone who has an understanding of how the world works. He is also someone who is outraged by social injustice. So what do you mean by outrage? It means powerful feeling or anger aroused by something perceived as injury. So meaning to say, you will not allow anyone to do something unlawful to you or to your community. The next one is, someone who participates in the community at a range of levels from the local to global. And then, someone who is willing to act to make the world a more equitable and sustainable place. 
And lastly, a global citizen is someone who takes responsibility of their actions or for their actions. So what are the ethical obligations of global citizen? Number one, a global citizen has the wisdom to perceive the interconnectedness of all life and living. Second, the courage not to fear or deny difference, but to respect and strive to understand of different cultures and to grow more encounters with them. To grow from encounters with them. Number three, the compassion to maintain an imaginative empathy that reaches beyond one's immediate surroundings and extend to those suffering in distant places. So to be able to become an effective global citizen, young people need to be flexible, creative, and proactive. They have to be problem solver, decision makers, critical thinker, effective communicator, and can work well within a team and or a group. And to conclude my presentation, according to Susie Kasim, to become a true global citizen, one must abandon all notions of otherness and instead embrace togetherness. Thank you so much.